Get a 125% sportsbook bonus on initial deposit. Use the link in the description of this video to get this special offer. Hey guys, let's go for another round of Dallas Cowboys news. If you are a big fan, please subscribe and leave a like. Tell me in the comments which city you watch this video from. The Dallas Cowboys are in need of a new offensive weapon and they are now being linked to a move for a dynamic Green Bay Packers star. The Cowboys have hinted at major decisions in the coming months, such as utilizing the team's franchise tag. But addressing the wide receiver spot will likely require a free agency deal or draft selection. In turn, Bleacher Report's Alex Ballantini is suggesting a long-term deal with Packers wide receiver Alan Lazard. The 27-year-old is set for free agency this offseason and has the potential to be a perfect complement to Dallas W.R. C.D. Lamb. The Cowboys would just need him to be a big-bodied number two receiver who can offer another red zone threat and give Dak Prescott someone else to come down with 50 to 50 balls, Ballantini writes. Lazard has scored 14 touchdowns over the last two seasons. He was still one of the most consistent downfield threats for Aaron Rodgers in 2022. There's no question that Lazard is a starter-quality receiver, but it's his specific toolset rather than his stats that should entice Dallas in 2023. Lazard produces with Packers. The transition from Iowa State to the NFL was a slow one for Lazard, who was initially signed by the Jacksonville Jaguars after going undrafted in 2018. He didn't make their 53-man roster and was eventually picked up by Green Bay later that year. Lazard was called into a bigger role in 2019, earning his first NFL starts and becoming a useful downfield target for Rodgers. The receiver's towering 6 feet 5 inches, 227-pound frame makes him a nightmare for defenders, and the Packers' QB tapped into that quickly. From 2019 through 2021, Lazard put up at least 451 receiving yards or more in each season racking up 513 receiving yards and scoring eight touchdowns in 2021, according to PFR. The former Cyclone was given the lead role after Devontae Adams left Green Bay for the Las Vegas Raiders, but it did not translate to a monster season. Lazard totaled 788 receiving yards and six touchdowns in 2022. As Ballantini mentions, the Cowboys don't need him in the lead role. In fact, a season like the 2021 campaign would be perfect, a dominant red zone threat that can also help stretch opposing defenses thanks to his long field ability to beat defenders in the air. Costing the Cowboys A player of Lazard's quality isn't cheap, and the projection for a potential deal with the Cowboys certainly isn't. Ballantini believes a three-year, $38 million deal is in order for the Packers' free agent. That would be about $12.6 million a season, a serious price for a second receiver. Dallas already has that kind of money committed to wide receiver Michael Gallup as well, so they're aware of the risk a deal like that can be. However, they can set up the contract so that it's backloaded in order to sync up with Gallup's contract. For example, they can pay Lazard something close to $8 million in 2023 to keep his cap hit low and then pay him $15 million a year in 2024 and 2025. According to Spitrack, Gallup can be cut with a reasonable $6 million in dead cap in 2024, freeing up $8.5 million for that season and upwards of $10.5 million the following years. There's risk involved, but Lazard makes a ton of sense due to his skill set, tall, powerful and a receiver who has played with an elite quarterback for the past four seasons. Hey Cowboys fan, in your opinion, Lazard would be a good signing for the Cowboys or not? What's your opinion? Put it in the comments because it's very important for the Dallas Cowboys. Stay tuned because at any time I update you on the latest Cowboys news.